Guys, thank you so much uh, for coming to the show. Zachary, I'm, I'm going to start, start with you. You brought uh, the film Shazam uh, to life a few years ago. Now, talk to me about this movie, because it is every kid's dream, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's really what the, the, so much of the DNA of the movie is about, is wish fulfillment. Every one of us, at some point in our lives, as a child, m mainly, but sometimes even as an adult, you are <laughs> wishing that you can be a superhero. Yeah. And I, I never let go of that. I love that this movie embraces that in such a huge way. He was 14 in the first one, and now he's 17. And so, you know, I get to just be immature and get paid for it. It's the greatest <laughs> yeah. job. No, it is. I saw it last week. And what I loved about it was that, you know, if you've got children who want to see a superhero film, they can watch this. If they're not quite ready for Marvel and stuff yet, it's perfect for the whole family. It's lovely. Thanks. Um, you didn't hesitate, Dame Helen, I'm going to call no. you now. Um, you know, before I taking part. I saw the part. first one. What did and you I like was... then about the first I, one? I love the heart of it and the sweetness of it. Yes. And, and, the, and the funniness of it. I was utterly charmed by it. And, you know, it's a superhero of movies are often very dark, very powerful. I'm not, I'm not dissing them, but, mm. but, you know, they sometimes I have this re real darkness about them. Shazam was just, it, it had a, 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 a serious, it had a serious heart yeah, to it because yeah. this feeling of, of kids who, who can't find their place in the yeah. world and, and in their imaginations they go into the superhero world, which is so true to life as yes. well. Yeah. You see yeah. little kids running around with, you know, their sweaters tied around their Next, oh yeah, you know, going like this, <laughs> yeah, I, and it's I so. Did that <laughs> and I, I, and I, I just thought it was utterly charming. And so um, when I was asked to be in the second one, I, I ba basically said yes, I'd love to. And I bet they were thrilled. <laughs> um, there's a lovely lightness of touch to it. Let's have a look at what people can expect. A lot has changed in the last few years. The wizard gave me superpowers. <laughs> And then everybody got superpowers. Started from the bottom, now we're here. All right, here's the situation. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. The daughters of Atlas are coming to hunt us. Children stole the power of the gods. Damn! You ripped it from our father's core. Okay, I feel like maybe I should be writing all this down. Give us the powers, child. Your world will not survive this. You want these powers? Come get them! Yeah. We're so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> With so a lot of help. For those people who loved the first one, where do we find your character, Billy, slash Shazam, yeah. in the second, at the beginning of the story? Right, so in the first one, like I was saying, he's 14. He's now 17, almost 18. And that's a big jump as a mm. kid. Uh, you know, we all we yeah. jump a lot in that time. He is having a couple of things going on. One is that he's almost 18, which means he's almost going to age out of the foster care system. And if he does, he's afraid he's going to lose this family that he fought so hard to find, finally, at long last. The other thing is dealing with some major imposter syndrome because he's trying to be a great leader with his now super family, all these kids that now have these superpowers that they got at the end of the first movie. And we're OK at our job, but we're bumbling through it. And he feels like he's failing everybody. And then you add to the mix these three incredible, powerful, beautiful, talented women and Helen Mirren and Lucy Liu and Rachel Zegler, who are the daughters of Atlas, and they are, they are pissed off. <laughs> and they... How did you get those powers into well, I, Listen, the, sh the wizard... How did the that wizard, come about? The wizard gave me the powers, okay? I didn't personally steal them. I mean, the grudge that this woman holds. Oh. I'm, I'm still angry. <laughs> well, I mean... I'm still furious. <laughs> the, the god is furious. Yeah. Exactly. Dame Helen, I, I have to ask, your character, I mean, what's, what's she really like? She's a goddess, yeah. you know, I mean, which is a lovely thing to play because there's no, you don't really have to think about human, you know, complexity at all. <laughs> They're sort of pretty one, not one dimensional, but one directional, yes. you know. We are very angry that our powers were taken from us. I think it was a genius idea, incidentally, to put gods and the gods in ancient history yeah. 2000 years ago when they were telling each other stories yeah. about the gods and goddesses mm. they were their superheroes mm. they were telling kind of the same stories absolutely but about gods and goddesses goddesses so that's exactly kind of what we are and so we're just so angry that that <laughs> our power has been taken from us we see ourselves as a heroines yes as the villains incidentally 
We are completely within our rights. And, and <laughs> back out. Do you think <laughs> everyone is the hero of their yeah, own story? Yeah. <laughs> is there that competitiveness between the sisters as well? Within that, the, well are they jealous the of their own powers? Thing of the writing, Henry's writing is is that he he un, you know the sibling rivalry, uh, which is also sort of true to the gods and goddesses. When you read the mythology, you know they do have these these spats between each other, mm. um, and and so he he sort of nails that sort of sibling rivalry. Um, I'm the elder sister, clearly the elder sister. I have an elder sister myself, and I always do what she says. It's, it's a weird thing. You do what your elder sister tells you to do. So um, I, I assume in the, in the story that my younger, beautiful younger sisters will do what I tell them to do, and of course they don't. <laughs> oh, well, it is so fantastic. Uh, thank you both so much.